Developing now, four people are dead after a wrong way crash. At this hour, investigators are trying to figure out what caused it. The catastrophic crash happened on I-10 about 90 minutes west of downtown Phoenix. A Nissan pickup going the wrong way slammed head on into a van, killing the pickup driver and all three in the van. DPS says the pickup went at least four miles on the wrong side before the crash. Troopers say they found alcoholic beverage containers at the scene. And sadly, those are some of the only items remaining due to the intensity of the impact. We lost any, really any piece of evidence that we have of who these people are and who those vehicles belong to. DPS has assigned a special detective to work on the case to help identify the vehicles because a fire burned almost everything, including the license plates. The medical examiner is trying to identify the wrong way driver and the victims from the van. So are we seeing more wrong way crashes this year over last year? Let's verify. The Department of Public Safety providing numbers for us saying that as of this past Monday, we've had 10 wrong way crashes this year with zero deaths. We can verify this is a significant drop from last year when DPS says we had already had 17 wrong way crashes, four of them resulting in deaths. And what about impaired drivers? Well, we can verify that arrests are up in the first three months of this year. DPS saying troopers have made 30 DUI arrests versus 27 for the first three months of 2018. Where does Arizona rank among all states when it comes to wrong way crashes and deaths? You can go to 12news.com for a link to an interactive map.